What? Is that a kid in there? Welcome back, everybody. What could possibly go wrong? That is the thought process that we're thinking when we watch some of the videos we're about to watch. Sometimes people put themselves in situations where once the result happens, you're thinking, what was I thinking? Of course, something could go what wrong. What was I if thinking I was showing up to, to work today? <laughs> yeah. I'm already That's feeling it. What my wife thinks every time she walks through that office door right there. But here I am. Pineapple football, little bachelor pad. No way anything could go wrong with it. Oh, tough hike, dude. Tough hike. Oh. Oh, no. Sorry. Landlord's not going to like that one. I don't know anything about busted walls in this office. I wish I had a camera to pan over there right now. Less horsing around. There was a bit of an incident. Anger, rage fit. Classic video game related hole in the wall. Fun fact, Jackson's afraid of pineapples. Like, not cut up pineapples. He thinks that, like, the spikes are so sharp it's going to really hurt him. <laughs> I was in the grocery store and he was like deathly afraid of this pineapple. I was like, what is happening? I asked him if he wanted to feel it because he was expressing interest. And then when I got even close to it with the carriage, he's like, no, 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 no. He's afraid of some weird things. Sock puppets. Where, where, ah! Hold on, hold on, hold on. All right. So I just played the beginning of that. This sounds not on yet, but. What could go wrong? What a good frame to stop here. So we're attempting a backflip on a ledge on a building that's sandwiched next to another building and immediately the dismount, I mean, here we go. You okay? Hey, you okay? I'm actually fine. I'm actually fine. Stands right up, dude. What are you doing? I mean, it's having a sandwich between another building like broke his fall. Oh, he, yeah, he could have easily he died. Been... He could have easily died if he wasn't there. Like he's it's hard to tell how high up it is, but clearly, see his legs. You know, he's spreading out, applying pressure to slow his fall. I can't believe that. This guy's like, oh yeah, this shot's gonna be great as he's careening <laughs> to the pavement below. I don't have sympathy. Well, I'm glad he's okay, but he wasn't even close. Look at the dismount. If that building wasn't there, he would have been five feet off the mark. But yeah. I guess maybe this is the learning pad for like parkour guys. Parkour. As a lifetime GTA player and you know, video game guy for the last 28 years of my life seeing this, you know, I understand, I get it. You see that flatbread that, flatbread? Flatbread? You see, <laughs> Are you you see that flatbread and you eat the hell out of it because you're hungry. <laughs> You see that flatbed truck perch down towards the pavement, and you're just like, you know, once in my life, I got to see if the video games were accurate. You got to try it. You yeah. got to try it. Did not have enough speed, if I'm being honest. I Maybe a look. Fast and the Furious fan, too. If this was Dom from Fast and the Furious, he would have launched and, like, probably cleared a cornfield and a bridge and landed into a perfect, like, parallel park. You know what's funny? What? You said flatbread, and the caption says, trying to jump a flatbread. Oh, that's why then. <laughs> Maybe I watched that. It was subconscious. I think you're hungry. <laughs> I'm definitely hungry. I haven't had breakfast yet. What? This was way smoother on GTA. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying, mm. dude. Most of you young cats out there don't know this, but I grew up on GTA 2. Grand Theft Auto 2 was an overhead 2D run around, shoot them up. And now, you know, we have GTA 5, which has been around for 15 years. GTA 6, probably never coming out. Pizza out of the oven. <laughs> Taking the whole rack out? Well, it Come on. Come on. Did you think that was staged? Definitely. The way he fell into it, yeah. Uh, yeah, the fall was. <laughs> the fall, he like sat on it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, not buying it. Sorry. No, guys. All right, yeah. No, you're not sneaking us. You're not sneaking one past my wife. I'm sorry. Have you ever dropped a full pizza come out of the oven, though? Have you ever dropped like a full dinner? I'm serious about this stuff. Not like, to my knowledge. What could go wrong? Remember that yeah. time that my mother <laughs> cooked Thanksgiving turkey upside down? <laughs> yeah, that wasn't me. Not your wife. It came like, out delicious though. I know, it's the best. It came out delicious, but my mom, God bless her soul, literally just put the turkey in the roasting pan upside down, cooked yeah. it. We didn't even notice until, I don't even know. No, until it was. it was done, it was cooked. But the best part was, it's like the upside down or the breasts are on top, right? So that was like just sitting in the juice the whole time. Yeah. So presentation wise, you don't get like that nice crispy skin you might see like on TV, but the turkey was delicious and moist. You know what's just delicious and moist? What, cake? That's right. People really hate the word moist. Doesn't bother me. It's been probably 15 years in college. I had a, a good friend in college who was a female that despised it. Couldn't People stand it. People go crazy over that. I don't know why. I've always said it describes everything that I love. Cake, delicious turkey that's cooked upside down, soft, wet, sponge cake, and there's one other thing that's escaping me right now. Oh, okay. Yeah, can't think of it. Mm. Oh, it's pu pudding. Drops a piece of food on the floor, germs for 4.9 seconds. This is a meme, meme template here. You get it? No. So you know the rule is like five second rule, right? Yeah. So it's insinuating okay. like, oh yeah, yeah, uh -huh. germs, germs practicing 
restraint and patience for 4.9 seconds till that five second. What an absolute farce the five second rule is, Oh, right? I know, I know. When you drop something, if it's gonna get the germs, it's gonna happen immediately or Running not. Impact, yes. Yeah. Now, to parlay on that point, I'm more like, you know what, it's not dirty till 6.30. That's what I always, I always Ooh, say. Ooh, I like that. I always just say that in the restaurant. 6.30 the next day. Yeah, whatever time of day it was, just say like a few hours later. It's not dirty yeah. till 10.30. Man, if you knew some of the things I ate off the floor oh, at the Cheesecake Factory. okay, all right, all right, all right. When I worked at the Cheesecake, yeah, yeah. strong, strong immune system, strong like bull. Oh, my wrist is hurt. <laughs> Trying to pull a trick in VR. Get it. You got it. Man, don't you hate it, hon, when you're trying to show off for your friends in the metaverse and you end up taking a spill in front of your green screen? So embarrassing. So embarrassing. I'd love to get you inside of VR chat. Okay. Or in the metaverse. I don't know why. I don't know why I haven't bought a VR headset yet. Same. I feel like we could do a VR video and just you and VR and me sitting here like this watching you and laughing, like playing Beat Saber or something. I think I played that one time. You played Beat Saber? Oh, you told me about that. I've never played it. I don't know why. I did it one time at an expo. I did Five Nights at Freddy's in VR and it was amazing. And I still don't have a consumer headset yet. It makes no sense. What could go wrong in science? Certainly there's never been. I know about this. A human baby was raised alongside a chimpanzee. And the baby became more ape-like and then himself later on in life. Downer much? So I've heard of that. That guy named Winthrop Kellogg, he's a comparative psychologist. And it was his own son that him and his wife raised. This is like early 1900s, I think. He was a brilliant psychologist from what I understand, but he raised his kid in an ape the exact same way, 12 hours a day. They treated him exactly the same, like fed him the same things. And he was trying to see how far the cognitive differences were with the ape and the child when it came to an environmental, right? But the crazy part was instead of the ape behaving more human-like, it was the son that was behaving more ape-like. These types of experiments probably wouldn't fly these days. No. But I'm glad someone no. was a pioneer. No. <laughs> you know? I mean, let's just experiment on your own child. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> All right, what could go wrong here? This idea right out of the gates, not the best. Also, a glass jar, not oh. like a tennis ball. Also, you're relying on a woman to throw accurately? <laughs> <laughs> uh. Yes, my weekly misogyny joke. Ew. <laughs> You're allowed uh, to cancel them if you want. Yeah, yeah. Hilarious, Leon. Just pat on the back. I'm the best. But listen, we need to know what you think and what you guys think at home. We go on what's going to happen. I'm thinking windshield breaks, probably. I'm thinking it lands on the roof of the car and smashes. That's my guess. You think the glass smashes? Yeah. But the car's okay? Maybe a little ding in the top. Uh, that's just like, w here's the deal. Why is the person not standing out of the sunroof? to catch it. I got my head out the sun. So I would say that the person in the car that's supposed to receive this is even more stupid than the person throwing it allegedly should something go wrong. So let's go see. Okay. Uh, oh. <laughs> Rip sunroof, dude. Was there even anyone in there? What is going on? I was expecting that when she'll hit this was much more precise. There she is right there. You can see her face in the beginning. Precise enough. Oh yeah, so she's just waiting I'd get the hell out of the way too. I'm not gonna try and catch it. I'd Dude, if you're standing out of the sunroof, it's not that bad of a throw, honestly. But this is what happens when you let two hooligans try to come up with a plan for something. Okay. Oh Lord, we're two seconds in. Love this already. Very kind of like 90s jackass Bam Margera, you know, CKY bit, shopping cart. But the man's on rollerblades, and it looks like they're on a decline because they're, it they're does cruising. Look like they're on a ramp. Who takes the brunt of the impact here? Is it the carriage girl or the, the rollerblade dude? I don't know. I think rollerblade dude gets wrecked the worst somehow. Send it. Oh my god, they're flying, dude. What? <gasps> <laughs> Is that a kid in there? Let me tell you right now, I got it absolutely wrong. The rollerblade dude just bails, peels off to the right, totally fine and sends it into See ya. The curb, dude. What was that all about? What was the goal there? No helmet, no nothing? Like, just like, right. yeah. Also, I mean, did you not know there was a curb there? This is why you can't go to the grocery store and find a decent cart. I think some things are just left better unknown. You know, I don't want to know their intentions here, sure. but the execution was flawless. She's in good shape. A little too much Lou at the Lou house. Oh! Owie, owie. <gasps> <laughs>
<laughs> I will be just fine and yeah. just absolutely thrilled if I never get that drunk in my entire no, life. No, I again. can't. Nope. Nope. There was probably a one hour window, right? Silver lining, where she was having the time of her life. Yeah. And then that extra pina colada and fireball shot, your head banging doors, and like, I mean, the, the final position, the final position. Yep. <laughs> right here. Right here with it. <laughs> Were you making a cool video? Is that what you were doing? That actually looks pretty... <laughs> That's an excellent album cover right there. <laughs> Just put in a little explicit tag in the bottom left. That's a better album cover. Cleaned his clock, dude. What is it, pop dude. punk? No, pop I'm, punk, I'm gonna say. Yeah, pop punk, sure. 90s Rage Against the Machine-esque. I mean, Empty Train, clearly they were looking to get like a cool film clip and they got one. <laughs> Not yeah. the one he wanted, probably. All right, Tapping Deadwood, this is called. Oh, that'll get you. Good thing in the helmet on, dude. Teach you Seriously. a lesson, though. 13 years in the making. This is, we've talked about this once or twice on our channel. With, yeah, uh, I do remember. Boston Scientifics. But it's interesting to see the evolution of AI robotics, or just robotics in general. You give this thing like a rifle or something. 2017, we're jumping on boxes, backflips. That's insane. Barrel rolls. There's ones that go viral where they like, they'll make it dance to like music and stuff. And, oh, here we go. <laughs> yeah. American Ninja Warrior Bob School course. It is fun. I look at this stuff and uh, in awe. how it's relevant to what could go wrong. What do you mean? I'm sorry, have you never seen The Terminator? You ever never watched any movie where AI takes over and subdues mankind? That's the whole idea is that like once we create robots right that can do everything that humans can do if not better and they become sentient then they can just take over humanity right it's a little bit far-fetched but i'm less worried about physical robots much more worried about cloud ai computing sure. that's the huge conversation now is like language learning models chat gpt and basically like how many millions of jobs will be Come useless, you know, things that humans do where you're sitting and doing computer work that can just be replaced like that because a computer can do it much more efficiently, faster, better, and for almost no money. That being said, that's my what could go wrong. We're in any one right now. We'll see 10, 20, 30 years, probably a lot. I think the shopping cart rollerblade one for me was the most well executed. Just All right. send it down the hill in the second you both are in trouble, peel off to safety and send your girlfriend <laughs> into a curb. All right. We'll see you in the next video. Peace.